Mission is back this morning. The Waco Annual Charity Open returning now after the pandemic led to disruptions the last few years. 25 News reporter Garrett Hoddle live at the event now, fly. which is about to get That's underway pretty it, soon this place. morning. Garrett, what's going on out there? Well, as you mentioned earlier, wind has been a big story this morning. I'm joined with Dan McGurcher from Operations and Partnerships with the Disc Golf Pro Tour. And things are kicking off at 7 a.m. this morning. We're going to have 160 pro disc golfers compete over three days of action here. Just condition-wise, we got to cover that. How does the breezy, strong, cold conditions impact the player? Yeah, well, on top of their hands being freezing and having a hard time <laughs> holding the disc, they're also going to select a lot of different discs for this type of condition. You know, they'll, they'll want to have more stable discs that can hold up in a headwind. Um, that way they can throw it really hard without it doing crazy things that they're not expecting. Mm -hmm. and, and Dan, typically the first day of play, what are, what are things like? You all are getting set up right now. Yeah, so we're just getting ready for spectators. This is the first time Waco's charged uh, entrance for spectators. So the fans are going to be showing up in, in full force, even though it's a cold day. So we're getting ready for that, and we're excited mm -hmm. to, to host some, some fans here. And, and that's a big story. In 2020, famously, or maybe infamously, this event was caught right in the throes in the pandemic. You know, the tournament was cut short. Then in 2021, spectators weren't allowed. But during that time, the interest in playing disc golf just surged, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The sport's grown so much. You know, the number of courses worldwide has more than doubled in the last five years. So just exponential growth in the sport. And we're just trying to professionalize it more and make sure that these players can earn a living doing this. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really exciting time for, for the sport. Mm -hmm. And there are some local kids participating. Pro Tours on the tournament here. This is the second stop on the Pro Tour. How does this course compare to others here at Brazos Park East? Well, I think this is definitely one of the most beautiful courses we see on tour, being right next to the river and the cliffs you know, off the Brazos. So we're just so excited to be here for sunrise this morning and, and through to sunset this evening. It's going to be a great day. Mm -hmm. And just like the players, I'm sure we'll be, we've been managing the breezy and coldy conditions. For now, covering the tour here at Brazos Park East, I'm Garrett Hoddle. Back to you guys. All right. Sounds like a fun day ahead.